dan il-programmi psikoloġi prodotti kummerċjali. Wheels fin nixtiq jirringrazzja lil dawn il-kumpaniji. Insellem il-telespettaturi ta' net television il-qakum al-programmi ħor Wheelspin. Illum, kenna nkunu niffilmjaw ġewal fjera internazjonali ta' ġenjiva. Izda minħabba situazzjoni dinjija bħalissa minħabba l-koronavirus din il-fjera dit kanċellat azattament jumejn bis għabbel fethet il-bibin taħħa għal-media u ovjemen saħna bħal-pajizi joħra u bħal-ġurnalisti joħra min madwar id-dinja kenna li kanċellaw din il-ziara għalix ovjemen li kumorna ma konna xejx niffilmjaw. Izda il-ditti differenti li kellom ikunu prezenti ġewa din il-fira id-deċidew li jamlu virtual press conferences differenti xiħut minnum amlu kol ġewa l-istess pal-expo meta ġi tal-prezentazzjoni tal-car of the air saru prezentazzjoniet kħen fil-pajizi rispettivi ta' ditti li kienu kellom ikunu prezenti u jamlu l-world premiers ġewa ġeniva u aħna għankona mistida biċin kunu prezenti għal dawl virtual world premiers għal dawl virtual presentations biex ikonna ċansu koll insegu dawk il-karotzi li għadon kem jidju prezentati min dawn id-ditti differenti ovjament virtual press conferences uma firm, firm differenti min dak li għan għandori naraw fil-firi ovjament dejjem blanis, memx publiku u il-situazzjoni, il-atmosfera ija dejjem differenti ovjament dawn saru kwazi kwazi behind closed doors jem xuħut li jamlu prezentazzjoni billi orew xie formati tal istess karotzi li ġew prezentati izdaħna ovjament minawnek xorri ta' nixti uma sulkom dawk il dawk il prezentazzjoni dawk il karotzi li jadon kif xarġu mid ditti differenti u permezza dan għankunu nista uma sulkom dawk il virtual press conference ta xuħut mid ditti li jamlu om ovjament kif diġadnja mu mix l-istess izda sgur ħaj kolkom idea ċara ta' dawk il-karotzi li ġew li kellom jidju prezentati ġew għadin il-fira dej min fakrukom jekin tom tixti u t-kommunika u maħna t-staw t-kbunna fuq wheelspin at b.rightnewmedia.com wheelspin PO Box 24 San Paolo l-Bahar jow minni preferi jisajt fuq l-pagna tana ta' Facebook u jekin għallinna komment jow kella messaġ mela, kif diġad t-lkom għalkem il-Palex pawkinet maluqa għal-publiku n-ġenerali kifu kol għal-media aħna kenna l-possibilta li nsegu il-Car of the Year li saret jammek minġdiet minnaj publiku prezenti, minġdiet minnaj il-rappresentanti ta' ditti rispettivi li kienu nominati għal dan l-Unurgbi izda aħna il-ħosuna li kenna l-possibilta li nwaslulkom din il-prezentazzjoni u għaksa namlu Mela, il-Car of the Year, 2020, il-suppost kella tiġi prezentata ġawa ġeniva, izda tiġi prezentata ġawa ġeniva, izda mux uddim il-publiku. Ma aħna, ħamaxtu il-komforta. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome live from Geneva Palexpo for the ninth edition of the Car of the Year. I will have some people with me on stage, and the first one I will have to welcome is the managing director of the Geneva International Motor Show. Please welcome Olivier Ries. Um, ladies and gentlemen, and dear co organizers, I'm glad that the ninth consecutive Car of the Year Award ceremony can take place here in Geneva. The Coty Award is the most prestigious automobile prize and the one with the longest tradition. It has been awarded since the 60s, and the members of the jury are undoubtedly the best car experts in Switzerland, 60 highly professional motorsport journalists from 23 countries. But now I would like to invite Frank Janssen. Frank, where are you? Uh, the president of the Gotti organization to join me on stage, Frank, please. Good afternoon, everyone. It's great to be here, definitely. Even it's a bit awkward, 
that the Pal Expo building is almost empty. But despite the cancellation of the Geneva International Motor Show, we decided to have this announcement as planned because the Geneva International Motor Show and Car of the Year are partners since many years, so we decided to go on. Welcome. The Geneva International Motor Show will continue to be my favorite car show in the world, and you know why? Because of the famous Swiss neutrality, for instance. Geneva is not dominated by a national car industry, and therefore it matches perfectly with the independence that Car of the Year stands for. We are not doing this press conference from a hotel ballroom that, is, that a car manufacturer has paid. We do this mainly for the customers. We do this for the people who buy the cars. We want to give advice. Then Geneva is the major European car show that takes place every year, like our award is announced annually. And above all, the Geneva International Motor Show is always scheduled in springtime. It's the season when the car sales lift off. The rates towards Car of the Year 2020 started last year with a long list of 30 candidates. We had one week of testing together in northern Denmark in early October, the famous Tannis test. We drove elk tests with each car, for instance. Then the jury chose seven cars in the first round voting these cars in November. So only to reach the shortlist is a great achievement. The finalists are the seven best cars of the year. And let me present the cars fighting for the title. The nominees are... Perfect, so let's get started. First country. First country. It's Austria. And let's see with the first points. Let's see the first points. Okay. It's the Ford Puma is the favorite car of uh, the Austrian, the Austrian jury. jury members, followed by the Porsche. Okay. Wow. That's interesting for a mm -hmm. start. We'll yeah, absolutely. see with the second country, that's Belgium. Belgium. Do they have the same taste? I, we'll let's see. see. We'll see. No. Two members? No. no. Now the Renault Clio is um, the favorite car. He's in the lead with 16 of points. The Belgian jury members. Well, let's see if it works that well for Germany, huh? huh. Because we have a Porsche <laughs> in the nominees. And the BMW. <laughs> let's see. So, hey, hey, what oh. did I just say? Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> 38 Porsche. points. And the BMW is quite far behind, but also the Ford is very good in, uh, in the German points. Well, that's going to be an interesting vote. Uh, maybe we can have a little resume you know, from the votes after this page. We'll see. I think we have that. Yeah. We have. Yes, here it is. Ooh. So. Um, Peugeot is collecting points heavily. Exactly. Uh, followed uh, by. For sure. And Renault yes. are close, very close by, yes. and then you still have the Ford in the run, mm -hmm. and a bit behind, of course, the Tesla, Tesla, Toyota, and BMW. And BMW. But everything is possible. It's still the beginning, right? Switzerland. That's where we are. Yes. So, they liked the Peugeot. Oh, but there's a tie. There's See? a tie, and they like the Porsche Taycan. Exactly. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Let's, Let's see. Oh my God, there's only two more countries to go. 261 points for the Peugeot. Turkey now. Turkey now. One, do you remember? Wow. Well, Eight we, points for eight the Tesla. Point for the Tesla. 
and we have one another big market that's the United Kingdom oh, that well, still can swing the results. It can means it? it could change everything. It's a possibility because they have it's six po jury members. Yes, they have six jury members. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. They vote heavily for the, for the Porsche Taycan. <sighs> Does that make and a difference? The Tesla with 35 points. Does it make a difference? Let's see. Oh, and the winner oh, oh. is. And the winner is. Oh my God! This is. Oh wow! This is the Peugeot. Peugeot 208 <laughs> is the winner of the year. Yes! Congratulations! 281 points. 281 That's a huge points. score. This is the Peugeot. Wow. And it's obviously electric. Beautiful. Congrats to Peugeot. Well done. That's a serious almost because uh, Peugeot had won in 2014 and 2017 already. With I can tell you that we are very, very happy to be renowned uh, by the uh, uh, car of the year. 208 is a fantastic car and the, and the jury is superb. So I can tell you that in the company it is huge effect. And we will uh, immediately uh, tell that to our customer, but it is a, it is a great honor. I just told the, the few uh, people in the audience here that, that, you are, uh, that you are already the winner in 2014 and 2017. How do you feel today? Uh, 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 absolutely uh, fantastic, because uh, we love that. I think uh, we love cars, and we recognize that the Car of the Year uh, jury is the Car of the Year of experts. And for us, it is key, and we are um, absolutely uh, convinced that they, the car deserves uh, your attention. And we are honored, uh, really, Frank. Uh, it's a, a, a big surprise and big pleasure for us. Very good. So we put it in its suitcase, and then we bring it to you, okay? <laughs> Thanks very much. I'm waiting for you. Thanks very best. much. Bye-bye. Thank you. All the best. Thanks. Thank you very much. وصلنا باش نعملوا وقفه تاع ثلاث مينوت على ستيت ريكلامي فضل اكثر شنو نقولكم اكثر فيرتشوال برزنتيشنز على كيبقوا معنا ويز بن يشتي ايرين غراتسيا للداون الكومباني Car out of second gear. Sicily by car with Virtu two ferries. Virtu two ferries. It's all about you.
Hankom pro bil program tana u jekin tomat kom tinaqdu mana palissa mfakru kom jeti segu l-program wheels bil ftid diferenti min dak li konna pjana jina għalix kiko għedin fa atmosfera ta għafna karotzi saq taħt saq għaf wieħet izda situazzjoni li u għana għankom pro moslu l-kom il-prezentazzjoni il-prezentazzjoni t-li saru virtuali min ditti differenti u wahda min ditti li kella prezentazzjoni kienet t-senna li t-prezenta il-model Audi A3 Sportback punto ija ditta Audi u din il-karotza fil-fadġi t-prezentata b-mod differenti b-mod virtuali min din il-ditta għana t-gu għan waslu l-konftit din il-prezentazzjoni t-sari t-kol mil-ġermania fil-ambjent ovjament tal-Audi kul ħat kello jamel li seta biex jiprezenta dawn il-karotzi li tant kien għet jistenna biex jorjom il-publiku b-mod differenti u għak għamlu kol l-Audi segu dal-prezentazzjoni Yes, today is the day. Welcome to an exclusive Audi world premiere. We are coming to you right from the heart of Audi and we have an entire show packed with highlights waiting for you in the next couple of minutes. Now over the last year, Audi has launched over 20 new models and today it's time for some more special members to join the family. The Audi A3 and the prototype of the Audi e-tron S are waiting for you. Ready for the action? Yes? Let's get right to it. So here it is, the all new Audi A3 Sportback. Very stylish. I really, really like the fresh design. And if you look at it, you clearly see, yes, it's an Audi. The front with the matrix LED headlights and the specific light signature. I also really like the new architecture of the flank. But the new design is not the only new highlight, right Hildegard? No, of course not. I mean, this car also has a lot of inner values. So, for example, there is a lot of innovation in there that you usually know from the luxury class, which is now presented in the A3 for the first time. But then if you look into connectivity, you know, this is so important for our customers. Of course, the A3 comes all connected, seamlessly connected. And we're also using car-to-x communication. So you can connect your car and sense data and receive data from the environment which, for example, is important when you look for a parking space. But then if you look, you know that sustainability is really important for us at Audi. And we have, of course, the electrification. The TFSI has already the mild hybrid in there. And we're also offering the A3 as a plug-in hybrid with even two different power levels. But, you know, sustainability is not just a question of the electrification. We are also doing sustainability ideas in the interior concept. So the A3, for the first time, shows that the upholstery, for example, is made out of recycled PET bottles, which I think is a great concept. Wow, that's a great feature and a really nice approach. And it's true that the A3 offers something for everybody. Now, uh, you are presenting the Sportback today, but which other members will join the A3 family? Yeah, the Sportback is just the first member, as you rightly say, and there will be the sedan following. But I think it's also exciting for everyone to know that there is a plug-in hybrid, but there will also be a successor of our S3 model. And you know what? Probably there will be even a super, super sporty A3 following soon. Well, it sounds like 2020 is off to a great start for Audi. 
Yes, that's true. I mean, we're going to launch another 20 new or updated models this year, so it will definitely keep us busy, and it's a super exciting year ahead. Okay. One more question, just between the two of us. What is the next highlight that you really are looking forward to this year? Hmm. Well, you know, I love electric cars, and also I love performance. Mm -hmm. And now we have a perfect combination of the two of them. That's the e-tron S. That's awesome. Thank you, Hildegard. Actually, that is also one of my highlights. That's why I'm very excited for the second reveal of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts. Ladies and gentlemen, the all-new Audi e-tron S Sportback prototype. What a bold statement. I am really a fan of both prototypes, the Audi e-tron S and the e-tron S Sportback. Now they both look very powerful and to find out whether they really are as powerful as they look, we should speak to someone who should know because he has already driven them. Let's have a chat with Mr. e-tron Extreme, Matthias Ekström. Hi Matthias, you have already climbed the Mausefalle in Kitzbühel in an e-tron. But now we even took it one step further. We just saw those spectacular clips from the racetrack and we want to know from you, how does it really feel to drive an e-tron S? Yeah, last year I mentioned I've been climbing the Mausefalle. That was cool on snow and ice, but today I had my first lap on a real racetrack. I got it more than once really sideways and it made a lot of fun. Wow, that really looked like you had a lot of fun. Tell me, how do e-tron power and the new Quadro work together? Like, how does this technology work? Well, you have uh, three electronical engines and then uh, you would say that's the modern way of Quattro. And then there's a fantastic software. So once I drive, I can feel you can get the drift angles a bit like you wish and the car stays very stable. I'm sure the software guys have made a very good job. Thank you, Matthias, for these insights. Keep on drifting, and I'll see you soon. I know what you're thinking. Does this car always drift? Of course not. It's a Quattro. And just like Matthias said, without traction, there's simply no chance of getting anywhere. Two premieres, plenty of highlights, but there's still one more reason to celebrate. Look at this. This was 1980 in Geneva. The day Quattro was born, 40 years ago. And even though we are not in Geneva today, we still remember this important date. Why? Since then, Quattro has shaped the brand and created unforgettable moments all over the world. With this, we wish all of you good health and Quattro a happy birthday. See you soon. Differenti mhux biskrinati jistennew il-firata Ġenieva biex jippreżentaw il-karozzi l-ġodda tagħhom, iżda 
كنا نعرف نادي تلي يريدوا كل يبرزنت أو تكنولوجيا جدا كيف تعرفوا كيف وصلوا كم هنا سبيس وقت البرنامج تاعنا التكنولوجيا ما ين سوش التكنولوجيا في الكروتي جدا لما الجرناتا وما إنكريبلي وواحدة من داو كده تلي كلام دان سيب ولي وكل فلاح كلام يعملوا البرنامجاتين تحم مود فرنتي إيا إدة تهندا سيبوا دار فيلمان. Hello and thank you for joining us. Honda placed its European business at the forefront of the company's global electrification goals. We have taken the bold step to confirm that all of Honda's mainstream models in Europe will be electrified by the end of 2022. We will now introduce six further electrified models to our European range in the next three years. The first two will come this year with the fully electrified Honda e and the all-new Jazz with hybrid technology. Through 2021 and 2022, four further new models will be introduced, including a new SUV and an additional electric vehicle. Every next-generation electrified product or energy management innovation will now come under the collective name of Honda e-Technology. And the first model to be launched under the e-Technology program is the all-new Jazz, with Honda's advanced hybrid powertrain technology as standard for the first time. At the heart of its connectivity package lies the Honda Personal Assistant, a smart artificial intelligence system using natural instruction-based conversations and contextual understanding to access a range of online services. In addition, Jazz features the all-new My Honda Plus app, enabling customers to stay connected to their car through their smartphone we're also introducing the new Crossstar for customers looking for a more crossover look. Here, the all new Jazz available in Europe from this summer. We will also broaden our electrified offer with the Honda e, Honda's first electric vehicle designed and developed specifically for the European market. As we have seen, the shift to electrification is happening at a rapid pace. And to support that transition, we understand the importance of charging solutions for EV customers. Towards the end of last year, we signed a letter of intent with Vattenfall, a leading European energy supplier, to introduce the world's first flexible energy contract tailored for electric vehicle owners here in Europe. Today, I'm delighted we can confirm details of this service under the name of eProgress. For customers, it will allow them to manage the timer charge to take advantage of the most cost-effective electricity prices, whilst also optimising the use of electricity from renewable sources. eProgress will be launched in line with the introduction of the Honda e, first in the UK market, before rolling out to other European countries, and subsequently will be made available to owners of any compatible electric vehicle. Thank you for joining us. وصلنا الحين تالكومبليتسيوني فين انتم تل سبيتاتوري تستاو تتحلو في الشانس اللي تربو شو حاجة معنا الدومان دا ديم ريلاتاتا ما دامن الكاروتسي يوم دا الدقلية نراوكم في البروغرامي تانا اللوم اورينيكم هفنا virtual presentations من ديتي ديفرنتي و الدومان دا ايا واحدة لي ريلاتاتا ما فين كلوم يجو بريزنتاتي دامن الكاروتسي كلا ايدونا من لي ما فيرا لي جيت كانشل لاتا كلوم يجو بريزنتاتي دامن الكاروتسي و بطلنا رسپوستي تاكم فوق wheelspin at b.rightnewmedia.com wheelspin PO Box 24 سان بارل البحار يو انكال لا تستاو تباتو رسپوستا كم بحالا منساج يو انكال لا بحالا كومنت فوق الباجن فانا تا فيسبوك و عراوش تستاو تربو ابارتجيبا مع wheelspin و كل جيما تستاو تربح برودوتي عال كاروتسا تياك بروفدوتي من اوتو قليم فلاحر تا سنسي لا ينتربه زوج بليتي اس قليا بروفدوتي من virtu ferries تاشي مش انكلوزي ينتربه هو كل سكوتر اريك جنتلمنت اوف روت من كاينز اوتو سيز لمتد و ورا لي رايت دوك الرجال اللي انتم تستاو تلفو معانا سر نعملو وقفة تاع تلت منوتي ابقى و ماك فضل اكتر برزنتاسيونيات نوريكم ويل سبين يشتيق يرينغراتسيا للداون الكومباني
Aktar prezentazzjonijiet ta karozzi differenti li kellom jidu prezentati ġewa ġeniva, prezentazzjonijiet li kellom jimbidlu b-mod differenti, b-mod drastiku kol, u din id-darba sari nsegu l-prezentazzjoni li saret virtualment mill-ditta Porsche e kif prezentat il-Porsche 911 Turbo S. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the virtual press conference of the all-new 911 Turbo S. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host and Porsche brand ambassador, Mark Webber. Passion, performance, pure emotion, that is what Porsche stands for. Normally, I'd be greeting you from the Geneva International Motor Show. However, the spread of the coronavirus has caused us to change our plans. That's why you see me here today in the Porsche Design Studio. It's a special building for special cars. This is creatively where all of our cars are born. The blueprint for all iconic Porsche design is the 911, the world's most recognisable sports car. Today, the flagship of that line takes centre stage. I'm excited, Porsche are excited. This outstanding product is going to take us in to the new decade. The new Porsche 911 Turbo S. Well, there she is, the new 911 Turbo S. Please welcome to the stage the man who continues to make cars like this possible for our great brand. It's the CEO of Porsche, Oliver Bloomer. Good morning, Mark. Hey, Oliver, how are you? Another special day for us, Oliver, here at Porsche. What does it mean to you personally to have a brand new car again going for us? First of all, it's a big moment for Porsche and especially for me to present the icon of our brand, uh, the new 911 Turbo S. 
What does it represent for us? What is it, the essence of this car? It's powerful, it's elegant, it's efficient, and overall it's completely cool. That's what the 911 Turbo S stands for. Numbers. We love numbers at Porsche. As a racing fan, I love numbers too. Give me some of the headline figures that this car has been able to achieve. All right, some facts. Beginning with power, 650 PS. That's 70 PS more than the generation before. Yeah. It sprints from 0 to 100 km per hour in only 2.7 seconds. <laughs> And uh, at the end, uh, a top speed of 330 kilometers per hour. Absolutely. Fantastic values for the new generation. <laughs> Extraordinary numbers. I know you've got some other key points to mention. I'll leave you to it for a second. I'll come back. Thank you. The first 911 Turbo was a real sensation in the 70s. And with each new generation, we are taking it one step further. Make it sharper in design, faster and more efficient. The Turbo is part of our DNA. It embodies the core brand values of Porsche. Dynamics, power output and speed. And it is a real all-rounder, perfectly balancing performance and everyday usability. That's always a big challenge during development. The product strategy matches our brand profile and core competencies. It is sporty, flexible and sustainable. Therefore, we focus on emotive combustion engines, dynamic plug-in hybrids and innovative electric sports cars. With electric cars and hybrids, we avoid local emissions. Their share of market will continue to grow. Sezioni i am a lilkom min Kynes Auto Sales Limited, rappresentanti f Malta ta Mercedes, Smart, Renault, Dacia u ditti johra. U bekwa sanna fit miem ta dan il-program, kien program xifti differenti min dak li kien beħsibna nwaslu lkom aħna, izda għal-menu irnexxina nwaslu lkom xiħud mil dawk il-karozzi ġodda li għadon kib ġew prezentati min ditti differenti. Fil ġimat li ġejjin sen komplu nsegu dawn prezentazzjoni dvirtuali li jatisiru, ovvjament bħalissa il-fatt li ma tanċ nistaw insifru għal dawl attivitajiet li fiħom il-aqqa u ħafna nis, ta' minna xiftit jaw izdif fiċ li u kolla lina il-team ta' Wilsbill izdaħna namlu l-metz kollu, da' kollu li nistaw bixxor ta' wahda inwaslu l-kom dawn il-karozzi ek kif jidu prezentati. Mella ovvjament program pa' dan jista jittella bis Grazie al ħafna nisli s-supportjaw, naħna minna ħatana l-ingrazzjaw l-Kinds Auto Sales Limited, l-Muscat Smotis Primkima BMW Motor Limited, l-Continental Cars, l-Virtu Ferries, l-Auto Glim, l-Hotel Excelsior, u minna ħatja l-ingrazzja l-Alex Lapira għal-Xari. Mela, programmi għor wheelspin jixxandar naritnejn flaxon esaxo ta' flaxija fejn nisperaw l-inkomplu għastu kompakta minn dawe prezentazzjoniet minn ditti differenzi. Izda passol tu najdu l-kom, Jekk tixtiqu tarġaw taraw dan il-program, tistaw taraw il-repetizzjoni li sir narl ħatt fl-erba ta' one-off sinar, jew inkella tistaw s-segu repetizzjoni fuq net on demand, jew tistaw s-segu dal program kifu kol programmi li jikunu deru fil-ġimat preċedenti fuq il-website taħna wheelspin.com.mt. Mela namlu appuntament al-mako mil-ġimat diħla. Grazzi talli kontu maħna u namlu appuntament al-naritnejn flasha nesaħxo ta' flashija. Nesel mulko. Wheelspin jixtiq jirringrazzja lil dawn il-kumpanijji.